you can see filming this is a bit more shaky than the MRT or the BTS. A good morning. It's around 9 o'clock and I'm here at the Chongnansi BTS station. And the reason that I'm here is because I want to show you a new bus line. Well, it's not new. It opened in 2010, but they have new electric buses. I'm going to show you the BRT line. I've shown you all the transport lines that you have in Bangkok. But from here you have a dedicated bus line that goes all the way to Talat Plu. And it starts here in the central business district next to the King Power Mahanakon to get out I use my BTS card so we are here at the Chongnansi Skywalk and this one connects the Chongnansi BTS station with the main office buildings here in the central business district and also the BRT which means Bangkok Rapid transport so the line already opened in 2010 but a couple of months ago they closed down because they wanted to renovate everything and change the buses for new electric buses Let's go into the bus. So here you still have the pay systems from the original BRT line. And as you can see, this is almost like the entrance to a metro system. I'm not sure if they are going to keep using this system because actually they changed quite a bit. So uh, we will see what happens when they really open in two months because now it's a trial period so here the bus is waiting so these are brand new buses all electric Saturn station So you have these waiting, I would almost say waiting lounges where you have air conditioning inside. So here you have a map of how the line is going. So we are starting here at Saturn and we go along Rama 3 across the river to Tonbori here. To the Racha Plek, and this is also where you can connect with the Talat Blue. So, this waiting room is nicely air conditioned, so this is perfect if you're waiting for the bus. It's line 402. And this used to be the entrance in the older system, but they don't use this anymore. So now you have to get in through the ramp. So you walk outside and you just get here in at the front of the bus. The bus is coming in.
So this should be a flat rate of 15 baht, but at the moment it's for free. So this is a brand new electric bus, so a bit of a different system than what we had before. This is how the bus stations look. And they have special ramps now so that people that are in wheelchairs can also use this bus. In Thailand, traffic is on the left. so. This would normally be the main entrance, but as you can see on this system, the entrances are on the right, because that's where the stations are located. So it's obviously Sunday today, so there's not too much traffic, but you can imagine when you have the regular traffic, this is the perfect way to get through the city. And this is how this kind of replaces the BTS or MRT, and obviously this is a system that is much more cost effective. This line in the future, they have plans to put the gray line in here, but it's not really sure if that's actually going to happen. But this is the only way of mass transport at the moment to get through Rama 3. So along the line you have 14 stations, there used to be 12, but they added two more stations now with the new line. So the BRT has a special traffic light just for the bus. <coughs> so the road that we are riding on now is called Naratiwa. So this whole part here on the right in the future will be the extension of the Chongnonsi Canal Park. <laughs> so here we are turning right into Rama 3 Road.
Andre has a bicycle tour company and if you want to visit him you can come here to the Wat Dan station and from here it's a short walk towards his company. This is a really nice mall. They have all kinds of different themes inside. And to get here you can take the bus here to the Channel Lab station. So this station is called Rama Tree Bridge and you can see the bridge in the back here. So we're gonna cross the Chow Praia River.
enjoyed this view. So from here you have a good view of, well, the tallest building in the middle there is the Four Seasons. And then you have the whole Saturn area here in front. The Asiatic. The Havani Hotel with a beautiful rooftop called Sin. So here you can see they can lower these platforms here, which means that it is accessible for wheelchairs as well. So we are now on the Tonpuri side of Bangkok. And if you follow Gary the roaming cook, he's always here in Tonpuri. So if you actually want to visit the Talatlu area, come here with the BRT bus. So here to the right, this mall was completely renovated, now it's called the M Lifestyle Mall. Under the bridge, we have the last station of this line. <laughs> so this is how the new buses look. Completely electric. took about a half an hour to do this whole ride. The stations, as you can see, are not in use anymore how they used to be. So they just created this ramp on the side. It's easy access for wheelchairs as well. There's a skywalk here that connects with the Talat Blue BTS. During rush hour, the bus will go every five minutes. Outside of rush hour, it's every 10 minutes. So like now, I took it on Sunday, which means every 10 minutes you have to service. So here we are at the Talat Blue BTS station. I'm gonna take the BTS. Back home. So the BTS is already on its way back to the main city of Bangkok and I'm gonna be on the next one. So I hope you enjoyed this update regarding the new, old, new BRT line. BRT is actually quite easy to get around with. It will be 15 baht in the future. It will still be for free for the next two months. So that is September and October 2024. Anyway, if you enjoyed this update regarding the BRT line, feel free to subscribe. Drop me a line and see you guys in my next uh, video. Uh...